Oh, blimey, it's an English time travel, isn't it? Ah, yes, welcome to 2024, and more specifically, happy birthday to Amelia Watson. And today, we are going to look at, well, Nendroid number 2216, Watson Amelia, or Amelia Watson, from Hololive English Generation number 1, Myth. Yes, our favourite time traveller, that is not Doctor Who, this is not Doctor Who, this is not Doctor Who, is finally available in Nendroid form. And she comes with, well, the diva himself, Bubba. Bubba, Bubba, Bubba. Bubba, 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 What, what are you guys saying the Bubba, 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 Bubba? That's right, so yes, join me as we look at this very exciting, very timey-wimey looking Nendroid. And as you can see, it is what you would expect for a Hololive Nendroid box. Yellow, which is the Amelia Watson colour, and has all of the different little Hololive triangles on the side. You can also see some various poses you can put Amelia Watson in before she destroys the space-time continuum. And yeah, it's looking very nice. Now, before we do anything more, we've got to say those words. That's right, let's release her from her plastic prison. Right, so let's have a little look at this, shall we? So, first things first, what we need to talk about is the face. The face is always an integral part of the whole of a Nendroid. And Amelia Watson also has a really nice face. Um, I really like Nendroids when they do make a good effort to capture the character itself. And this faceplate certainly does that. I am absolutely loving the eyes. They just look slightly crazy. Just slightly though. And it captures that slightly cheeky expression that Amelia Watson always seems to have. I really do like that. I do like on her hair, where she's got like the little kind of monocle hair clip. I don't know what it's called. I don't think it's see-through. I think it's actually just used the same colouring as the hair. I believe it kind of looks like that. It's hard to tell. There's not much in terms of gradients, but you can see how her hair gets a little bit darker and lighter as they reach the roots. It makes the figure look quite, quite nice. Also, you get a stethoscope, I believe. And yeah, it's quite nice. It doesn't want to fit on her very well. It flops around quite a lot. And the rest is her jacket. Now, you can't display her without her jacket, which is a little bit of a shame, considering we did get some in the past, like Shion, where she did have the option of having a separate one. But I'm not going to complain too much. I like the tie. I like the Watson tie with the little tiny moustache. Can you see it there? It's very, very tiny. Yes, that's it there. And I like the little clock pocket watch with the tartan skirt. Very, very nice touch. The design on the coat is very nice. And honestly, I didn't even know that there was all of these belts behind here. 
wow this is going to be like Kiara's little wings that you just, you just never ever see in a stream or anything like that but they exist in law moving down and you have the Watson concoction along with a pair of tights and some shoes a very nice look on Android that's well we've come to expect this from the Hololive range now haven't we I do like this a lot it's very very nice now let's have a look at some of the other pauses and things you can do with Amelia Watson shall we <coughs> My neighbors must hate me. <laughs> this is a really fun design. I really like this one. It's like she's in her own investigation. You know, she's going, What is it, chat? What is it? What did Small I may do this time? Yeah, I like this one. I really do like it. I love the fact that the rear. Um, the, like the, the magnifying glass is an actual magnifying glass as well. That is just something so cool that I don't really see done much. And to be honest, it seems to be one of the things that's taken up a lot of the price of this particular Android. Because interestingly enough, these are one of the very few accessories she comes with. Of course, she's got her little stethoscope. She's got her magnifying glass and she's got a pointy finger. Yes, for the times when she points at things. I don't remember Amelia Watson ever pointing at anything in her life. Hmm. Strange. But the other thing that you do get is her hunter's cap and it again looks really nice with a nice tartan print. Very very nice. And it just sits on top of her head like so. Very cute. Hold on a minute, she's pointing at the mother to ground pound. Now it all makes sense. Nothing beats a ground pound. That's funny, because uh, you guys know that's actually what I did to your mom last night. <laughs> right, so this, I like this. I actually really do like it. It's really nice. Um, I was unsure about it because it looked a little bit too silly and quite frankly I probably would have preferred a small anime face but this is really nice I really like the kind of the somewhat subtle smirk on her face now I'm gonna be honest I probably would have preferred if this didn't have the mustache on simply because she doesn't really wear the mustache that often and I feel like it's got her kind of more signature smirk on from when she's playing games but that might just be me it's still a really fun one but it's not one that i'm going to use still a very very nice and unique pause however but one thing that you might have also noticed is that we also have boobaba yes that's right we have bubba Amelia's Doggo and this was the whole reason I bought this I mean of course you had to yeah just joking it, it was the one thing that I kind of wanted the most from a um, Amelia Watson Android I was like I was kind of like you can't muck up Amelia it's very difficult to muck her up but not including Bubba would be criminal because if I'm honest I kind of felt that you probably should have gotten a small Ami as well as a Bubba but that's just me um I kind of feel we might get small Ami down the line maybe maybe it'll just be in a little gacha or something like that but yeah I'm gonna have to try and source one now because it's still essential but Bubba is looking very very nice and very very adorable a very nice addition to a very good Nendroid. Well, that's Amelia Watson. Honestly, this is easily one of my favourite new Nendroids for 2024. Also, just so happens to be the first Nendroid I've opened in 2024. But 
she is really well done and honestly I think she's been absolutely worth the wait. Now we just need Ina and Kiara so we can finish off all of Hololive Myth and Gen Zero and Gen 1 and then we can start hassling them even more for Gen 2 and Gen 3. Well if you like this remember to leave a like and consider subscribing and what's your favourite Amelia Watson episode? I'm really partial to some of her Fallout streams myself. But overall, she is probably one of the most unique Hololive members and constantly gives us a lot of great content. So, thank you and happy birthday to Emilia Watson.